Oh, there, she is. there we go. Don't tell her I jerk me. Oh, I see a little cutie. Look at that little guy. Yes. Look at that little oh, guy. Oh, no, you got Mr. On Deadly. Going on there. Hold still. I'm a Lake Wosey in Indiana. Supposedly, many years ago, Bassmaster ranked it at a top 100 lake in the country. Uh, Matt, I don't agree with that at all. Not anymore? Oh, no, no, definitely <laughs> not. But it's December 26th, right after Christmas Day, and the water temperature, let me, I'll show you, the water temperature is 38 degrees, 38, 37 degrees. And this whole video is about winter fishing on Lake Wallacee. That was a Ned Rig, as you saw, we're fishing a little bowl. I say a bowl, a little depression up on the North Shore somewhere. Oh, it's a... It's a special Lake Wallace Sea Giant. Ah, but look, look right there. See that first grass right there on my Ned Rig? That's a little jackpot from Bite Me Tackle. Promo code down below, you're gonna save money on that. He ain't a giant, but he is a fish on December 26th, but now we're no longer on that depression up north. We're actually up on a flat with scattered weeds. Two fish right here. Right here. First one. Got him, got him, yeah. Good one. Not a bad fish there, Miss Keeper. On your jerk bait. Yes, sir. You saw him on a live scope. Swing him aboard. There we go. So here we are. How would you explain this spot, Matt? We are in a little bit of a hole on a flat. We got in this hole, started seeing some suspended fish out there, about six foot down and 13 foot of water. Picked the jerk bait up doing just a two twitch and a two to three second pause and boom boom yeah. Yeah. all right get him back yes so i'm standing here right behind matt we're panning over seeing some fish right on an edge now we're sitting here and no oh, what are we at 16 foot of water and there's some weeds and these fish are sitting right on the edge anyway i'll pop it he came up i popped it loose with weed he came up and smoked it and then he come up buttoned but ha uh, he lost round two to the hunter fish. We got a handful of fish now. All but one have been on the dead rig. The other one's on that jerk bait. But it's, and boy, it's not a good bite. It's not as good as you think it would be. But we're showing you got to keep moving. I think this is the sixth different spot we've hit out here at Lake Wallace Sea. And uh, we found fish. It's just a matter of giving them the right bait and putting it right in front of the face. That I'm convinced of. You got to put it right in front of the face. They're not chasing anything for us today. Fish. While you got in the backlash out, Matthew? I, was, uh, I started breaking it up. Oh, okay. So what are you throwing here, blade? Blade. Blade, oh, look at that pretty fish. Yeah, not a bad one, is it? No. Yes, sir. Nice got fish. All of it. Look at that. Look at the beautiful spots on them. Mm-hmm. Look at that blade made there. You ate old things. Are you just telling the truth though, weren't you? Didn't you have a Backlash, are you getting out? Had a, had a little bit of an overrun. It was sitting on the bottom for a while. And then you popped it how many Pop, times? Popped it twice off the bottom after sitting there for probably 20 seconds. He and it. he ate it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he don't feel all that bad. You gonna need a net here? You gonna no. carry it? No, I don't believe in a net, and he's really not that good after all. But, but he is a fish. He's a large bass on December 26th. Once again, we just keep moving around a while. We'll see. Ned Rig really seems to be the top producer, although Matt's got one there on the blade and uh, jerk bait as well. Up on the North Shore, little uh, tapering drop drop off the litter. Tapering drop off with some sporadic weeds and we're using that live scope and they're not eating very good. Just kind of popping it, popping it, and occasionally one just eats it. Got it. Here we go. I watched oh, that. That was fun. Yeah, he, he bit it all right. He was on. Ned rig. Yeah. Let me show you exactly what I'm using. You can see the how I was working that bait before he ate it. I'm not sure exactly. First off, uh oh, notice, notice the junk on the hook. Uh huh. That means that bait is right on the bottom. But got a quarter ounce, quarter ounce spike me tackle jack jackpot. Uh, eight pound line connected to ten pound test braid. And I got my Yoder's rod. It's a seven foot medium action and a Stratic Shimano reel. If you're familiar with live scope? That's fish. That's fish up there. 
you see it's just a flat there are some sporadic weeds here yep. but we know those are fish because they'll be moving around coming up down like that guy's moving up and down yep right by the boat right by the boat, right by the boat. oh it's a good one it's a good one short line me yeah I'm trying to jump in 36 degree water. 36 degrees. Yeah. That's that's great. Another blade fish, right? Yep. Oh. Eat it. So he bit it right under the boat. But look how look how deep it is in his mouth. Tell me that fish didn't want it. You can help me out. I am a little lonely on Instagram still. I've got a lot of new followers lately and I've been growing at my page there. But I want you to become my friend on Instagram. Link is down below. Man, I think that your rod been good. Got another blade here? Another blade fish. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Look at the beauty. Oh, oh. Not mm, ready yet. You're not ready. Another nice keeper bass. And this time you're casting out away from the bank, probably about 12 foot of water, maybe 13. Popping off the bottom and ate it. Wintertime, it, it, people who fish a lot in the wintertime know that a blade bait and a Ned rig, which have been our best baits today, that is no surprise. If you were going to pick out two baits to fish in the wintertime, those are two I'd go with. Say back to back cast, Keeper? Back to back cast. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if it's as big as its head shape. Head shape. Here, I see the line. Yeah, it's getting smaller. You get smaller, it gets closer to the boat, huh? Yep. Oh, look Maybe at that not. beautiful color, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice fish. You just come on, to, you come on to something, Matthew. Matthew. You good. don't want to be in the sun? <laughs> nice, nice fish. Pretty fish. Fish. Good grief. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get you from behind here. It is a blade bait deal now. For, oh, oh, that's a beautiful fish. Let me get close up on this guy. Look at him shaking his head. Look at him shaking. Off. Trying to get off. Yeah, oh, holy. Look back over. Yeah, he's trying. He ain't though. He ain't. Let me tell you something that's not uncommon in the wintertime. I'm an at I am adamant about the best bite, even in December, is going to be first thing, first light. But that's not always the case. We struggled mightily. In fact, we fished this same area this morning. Oh, uh, I bet we were here about 8.30 and caught one fish. Matt's first fish. But we come back here now. Whew. We are really putting it to them here. And it's now almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So what's not uncommon is an afternoon bite to pick up. If you know where fish are living, where they're hanging out, you don't get them the first pass through, don't be afraid to give them a second or even third pass. Goodbye. by Jimmy. Fish. Got him? Got him? Got yes, him. you do. Got him. Oh my gosh, you're on fire. Tell how you how you retrieving your blade bait? <laughs> there has been no set way. I have been hopping it high off the bottom, working it fast, working it slow. That time I was working it along the bottom. Perfect. Nothing, nothing in particular about it. They get fresh water, fresh sediment, and food. There's always bait. Gosh darn you. Man. Yep, yep, you're fired from fishing. No more. You greedy, you greedy man. Boy, these are all nice fish you're catching. They're all keeper size largemouth. Another Look at 15 beautiful. inch fish. Yes. Oh man. Look at that. Outstanding. Be still. And he's got himself What's up? one. What's up, Keeps? So you ain't the only one to get one on a blade bait. Uh-huh. Of course, mine may be a lot smaller than yours, but who's keeping track? Yes! Hold, him, hold him out. He'll get bigger. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll show you one more thing. Look inside his mouth. See the weeds? As Matt said a dozen times in the last couple minutes, these fish are on the bottom, eating stuff, popping up in and out of those weeds. Green weeds are important. Keeping your bait on the bottom has been important. And, uh, well, the bait selection. Bait selection has been important. I had a jerk bait bite that Jim Matt got. Ned Rig was definitely caught some fish, but now it is all about the blade. And I suspect, I suspect, they're reacting a little bit better to that vibrating bait for one reason or another, opposed to that very finesse Ned Rig. I kept, I kept trying to make it work. 
Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Eh? Eh? I'll get a blade bait by going. Looks like it's gonna jump. Oh, he wants to jump. He wants to jump. I'll see. I might have big fish of the day here. I might. I might not too, but don't let Matt know. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, not a bad fish, is it? Eating that blade, eating that blade. Something to keep in mind anytime you're fishing, winter time or any other time, but especially winter, I would say. All right, what am I saying? Any time of year. We were getting bites. Obviously, Matt got a whole bunch on that blade bait, and then it stopped. So all we really did was we moved back, oh, about 50 feet, and uh, we're seeing some more fish on the graph. These fish are moving, and, and that's all it took. So these fish were moving, and we drifted back to them. So I think the lesson of the day on uh, Lake Wallace Sea in December 26th into wintertime, water's 38 degrees, is you still need to be an aggressive fisherman. Go to different places. We've tried, I think we were on our fifth spot before we finally got a bite, caught a fish, and we even came back to where we started the morning where we caught most of our fish. I believe strongly that the Ned Rig was going to end up being the best bite bait of the day and I was proven wrong. It was a blade bait. And and thing the fish moved, saw all that throughout the day. So Lesson of the day, Lake Wallace Sea, and probably any natural lake in the wintertime, you gotta be aggressive. Move around, find those fish. Fish are gonna be moving, these fish today were moving all around the place, and switch up, bait, switch up baits. And remember, they may change at any minute to a different bait, or just move to a different location. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you on the water. No, we won't look at the way we're gonna end this day. Oh, he broke, oh, he broke you off? Man. That might have been a pike. <laughs> <laughs> Having a blast with Northern Pike? No, no, definitely not. Thanks for tuning in.